Days of Our Lives spoilers The tension reached a fever pitch on Wednesday, August 28. Secrets long buried began to surface, and one of the most tormented souls, Brady Black, found himself at a crossroads. The burden of his deception had become too heavy to bear, pushing him to a moment of reckoning with Jada. Brady has been battling a demon that has haunted him for months, his addiction. For so long, he thought he could manage it, control it, and keep it hidden from the people he cares about. But addiction is a cunning beast, and it tightened its grip on Brady until he was left gasping for air. The lies he told to protect his secret began to unravel, starting with the night he thought he had hit Sarah in a drug-fueled haze. It was a moment that shook him to his core, and despite his best efforts to suppress it, the memory clawed its way to the surface, demanding to be confronted. When Jada inquired about his car, Brady couldn't bring himself to lie outright. He told her the truth, at least a version of it. Yes, the car was stolen, but the details of when and how were conveniently omitted. For a fleeting moment, Brady hoped that this half-truth would suffice, that it would buy him time to figure out his next move. But the weight of his conscience proved too much to bear. Brady had always prided himself on being a good man, a man of integrity, even in the face of his personal struggles. But now, that very conscience was betraying him, gnawing at his resolve, until finally, he broke down and confessed to Jada. Meanwhile, another set of secrets was brewing, this time among the younger residents of Salem. Tate and Holly had spent the summer in a state of rebellious adventure, hiding out at the Horton cabin, far from the watchful eyes of their parents and guardians. They had concocted a story, a web of lies, to keep their whereabouts and activities under wraps. But as the summer days dwindled, the weight of their deception became too much for Tate to bear. He finally came clean to Brady, perhaps hoping that his honesty would encourage Brady to do the same with Jada. Holly, on the other hand, is still grappling with the decision. In her mind, the lie seems trivial compared to the chaos and deceit she sees around her every day. Why should they suffer consequences when the adults in their lives seem to get away with so much worse? The twisted logic of youth plays in her mind, creating a dangerous precedent, one where the lines between right and wrong blur beyond recognition. As these confessions ripple through the lives of Salem's residents, Fiona Donovan finds herself in a strange predicament. Often dismissed as the town's eccentric grandmother, Fiona has always had a penchant for monologues, long, winding speeches that she delivers with the passion of a Shakespearean actor. Lately, she has taken to babbling to baby Victoria, who, at nearly a year old, is still cradled like an infant and has yet to speak her first words. Fiona's concerns for Victoria's development are real, but her words reveal more than just grandmotherly worry. In a particularly intense monologue, Fiona starts to spill secrets, secrets that have been locked away for years, buried deep within the family's dark history. She talks to Victoria as if the child could understand, unaware that her words are falling on the ears of someone far more perceptive than the baby. Justin Kuriakis, always the protector of his family, happens to overhear Fiona's ramblings. As he listens, pieces of a long-standing puzzle begin to fall into place. Could Fiona's words hold the key to solving the mystery of Sarah's hit and run? Could this be the breakthrough they need to crack the case wide open? The air in Salem is thick with tension, as secrets big and small begin to collide, threatening to tear apart the fabric of the town's fragile peace. Thanks for watching, goodbye.